Honey Comb Textbook in English for class 7 Page 71 Chapter 5 Before you read Can a shoemaker be called an artist? Yes, if he has the same skill and pride in his trade as any other artist and the same respect for it too. Mr Gessler, a German shoemaker settled in London, is a perfect artist. Read this story to see how he devotes his life to his art. Quality. I knew him from the days of my extreme youth because he made my father's boots. He lived with his elder brother in his shop which was in a small by street in fashionable part of London. The shop had a certain quite distinction. There was no sign upon it other than the name of Gessler Brothers. And in the window a few pair of boots. He made only what was ordered and what he made never failed to fit. To make boots such as he made seemed to me then and still seems to me mysteries and wonderful. I remember well my shy remarks. One day while stretching out to him my youthful foot isn't it awfully hard to do Mr Gessler and his answer given with a sudden smile from out of redness of his beard it an art it was not possible to go to him very often his boots lasted terribly having something beyond the temporary some essence of boot stitched into them word meanings it is an art said with german accent lasted terribly lasted very long page 72 one went in not as into most shops but restfully as one enters a church and sitting on the single wooden chair waited a guttural sound and the tip tap of his slippers beating the narrow wooden stairs and he would stand before one without coat a little bent in leather apron with sleeves turned back blinking as if awakened from some dream of boots and i would say how are you mr gessler could you make me a pair of russian leather boots without a word he would leave me retiring whence he came or into the other portion of the shop and i would continue to rest in the wooden chair inhaling incense of his trade word meanings guttural means harsh and grating page 73 soon he would come back holding in his hand a piece of cold brown leather with eyes fixed on it he would remark what a beautiful piece when i too had admired it he would speak again when do you want them and i would answer oh as soon as you conveniently can and he would say tomorrow fortnight or if he were his elder brother i will ask my brother then i would murmur thank you good morning mr gessler good morning he would reply still looking at the leather in his hand and as i moved to the door i would hear the tip tap of his slippers going up the stairs to his dream of boots word meanings incense means the smell of leather is compared to the smell of incense in the church in german what a beautiful piece english what a beautiful piece german when do you want them when do you want them german fortnight english fortnight german brother english brother page 74 I cannot forget that day on which I had occasion to say to him Mr Gessler that last pair of boots creaked you know he looked at me for a time without replying as if expecting me to withdraw or qualify the statement then said it shouldn't have creaked it did i'm afraid you got them wet before they found themselves i don't think so 
at that he lowered his eyes as if hunting for memories of those boots and i felt sorry i had mentioned this grave thing turn them back he said i will look at them some boots he continued slowly are very bad from birth if i can do nothing with them i take them off your bill once once only i went absent mindedly into his shop in a pair of boots bought in an emergency at some large firm he took my order without showing me any leather and i would feel his eyes penetrating the inferior covering of my foot at last he said those are not my boots the tone was not one of anger nor sorrow not even contempt but there was in it something quite that froze the blood he put his hand down and pressed a finger on the place where the left foot was not quite comfortable it urges you there he said those big worms have no self respect and then if something had given way within him he spoke long and bitterly it was the only time i ever heard him discuss the conditions and hardships of his trade word meanings in german it shouldn't have creaked in english it shouldn't have creaked in german you got them wet before they found themselves in english you got them wet before they found themselves in german send them back in english send them back in german i will look at them in english i will look at them in german some boots are bad from birth in english some boots are bad from birth in german if i can do nothing with them i take them off your bill in english if i can do nothing with them i take them off your bill in german those are not my boots in english those are not my boots in german it urges you there those big worms have no self respect in english it hurts you there those big firms have no self respect page 75 they get it all he said they get it by advertisement not by work they take it away from us who of our boots it gums to this presently i have no work every year it gets less you will see and looking at his lined face i saw things i had never noticed before bitter things and bitter struggle and what a lot of gray hairs there seemed suddenly in his red beard as best i could i explained the circumstances of those ill omened boots but his face and voice made so deep an impression that during the next few minutes i ordered many pairs they lasted longer than ever and i was not able to go to him for nearly 2 years it was many months before my next visit to his shop the time it appeared to be his elder brother handling a piece of leather well mr gessler i said how are you he came close and peered at me i am very well he said slowly but my elder brother is dead and i saw that it was indeed himself but how aged and one and never before i had heard him mention his brother much shocked i murmured oh i'm sorry yes he answered he was a good man he made a good boot but he is dead and he touched the top of his head where the hair had suddenly gone as thin as it had been on that of his poor brother to indicate 
I suppose, the cause of his death. Do you want any boots? And he held the leather in his hand. It's a beautiful piece. Word meanings. They get it all. They get it by advertisement, not by work. They take it away from us who loaf our boots. It comes to this presently. I have no work. Every year I get less. In English, they get it all. They get it by advertisement, not by work. They take it away from us who love our boots. It comes to this. Presently, I have no work. Every year it gets less. I am pretty well. But my elder brother is dead. In English, I am pretty well. But my elder brother is dead. Do you want any boots? It's a beautiful beast. In English, do you want any boots? It's a beautiful piece. Page number 76 I ordered several pairs. It was very long before they came, but they were better than ever. One simply could not wear them out, and soon after that I went abroad. It was over a year before I was again in London, and the first shop I went to was my old friend's. I had left a man of 60. I came back to one of 75, pinched and worn who genuinely this time did not at first know me. Do you want any boots? He said. I can make them quickly. It is slack dime. I answered, please, please, I want boots. All around, every kind. I had given those boots up when one evening they came. One by one, I tried them on. In shape and fit, it finish and quality. Of leather, they were the best he had ever made. I flew downstairs, wrote a check and posted it at once with my own hand. A week later, passing the little street, I thought I would go in and tell him how splendidly the new boots fitted. But when I came to where his shop had been, his name was gone. I went very much disturbed in the shop. There was a young man with English face. Mr. Gessler in? I said. No, sir. He said. No, but we can attend to anything with pleasure. We have taken the shop over. Yes, yes, I said. But mm, Gessler? Oh, he answered. Uh, dead. Dead? But I only received these boots from him last Wednesday. Word meanings. I can make them quickly. It is a slack time. I can make them quickly. It is a slack time. Given up. Meaning. Thought. They would never come. Page number 77. Ah, he said. Poor old man starved himself. Slow starvation, the doctor called it. You see, he went to work in such a way. Would keep the shop on. Wouldn't have a soul touch his boots except himself. When he got an order, it took him such a time. People won't wait. He lost everybody. And there he had sit, going on and on. I will say that for him. Not a man in London made a better boot. But look at the competition. He never advertised. Would have the best leather too and do it all himself. Well, there it is. What could you expect with his ideas? But starvation. That may be a bit flowery as the saying is. But I know myself. He was sitting over his boots day and night. To the very last you see. I used to watch him. Page number 78. Never gave himself to eat. Never had a penny in the house. All went in rent and leather. How he lived so long I don't know. He regularly let his fire go out. He was a character. 
but he made good boots. Yes, I said, he made good boots. John Galsworthy simplified and abridged. Working with the texts. Answer the following questions. Question number one. What was the author's opinion about Mr. Gessler's as a bootmaker? Question number two. Why did the author visit the shop so infrequently? Question number three. What was the effect on Mr. Gessler of the author's remark about a certain pair of boots? Question number four. What was Mr. Gessler's complaint against big firms? Question number five. Why did the author order so many pairs of boots? Did he really need them? Working with language. Study the following phrases and their meanings. Use them appropriately to complete the sentences that follow. Look after. Take care of. Look down on. Disapprove or regard as inferior. Look in. On someone. Make a short visit. Look into. Investigate. Look out. Be careful. Look up. Improve. Look up to. Admire. Page 79. First, after a very long spell of heat, the weather is dash at last. Second, we have no right to dash people who do small jobs. Third, Nitin has always dash his uncle who is a self-made man. Fourth, the police are dash the matter thoroughly. Fifth, if you want to go out, I will dash the children for you. Sixth, I promise to dash on your brother when I visit Lucknow next. Seventh, dash when you are crossing the main road. Second, Read the following sets of words loudly and clearly. C-O-T, caught. C-O-A-T, coat. C-O-S-T, cost. C-O-A-S-T, coast. T-O-S-S-E-D, tossed. T-O-A-S-T, toast. G-O-T, got. G-O-A-T, goat. R O T rot, R O T E rot, B L O T blot, B L O A T bloat, K N O T not, N O T E note. Third, each of the following words contain the sound sh, as in shine, in the beginning or in the middle or at the end. First, speak all the words clearly, then arrange the words in three groups in the table on page 80. Sheep, trash, marsh, fashion, anxious, shriek, shore, fish, portion, ashes, shore, nation, shoe. Pushing, Polish, Moustache. Page 80. Initial, Medial, Final. Fourth, in each of the following words, CH, CH, represent the same consonant sound in chair. The words on the left have this sound initially. Those on the right have it finally. Speak each word clearly. Choose. Bench. Child. March. Cheese. Peach. Chair. Wretch. Charming. Research. Underline the letters representing this sound in each of the following words. First, feature. Second, Archery. Third, picture. Fourth, reaching. Fifth, nature. Sixth, matches. 
seventh riches eighth batch ninth church speaking first do you think mr gressler was a failure as a bootmaker or as a competitive businessman second what is the significance of the title to whom or to what does it refer page number 81 third notice the way mr gessler speaks english his english is influenced by his mother tongue he speaks english with an accent when mr gressler speaks p t k sound like b d g can you say these words as mr gessler would say them it comes and never stops does it bother me not at all ask my brother please fourth speak to five adults in your neighborhood ask them the following questions in any language they are comfortable in then come back and share your findings with the class first do you buy their provisions packed in plastic packets at a big store or loose from a smaller store near their house second where do they buy their footwear do they buy branded footwear or footwear made locally what reasons do they have for their preference third do they buy ready made clothes or buy and get their clothes stitched by a tailor which do they think is better fifth look at the picture boy ajit i have decided to go abroad for higher studies anisha a girl have you i don't think i'll ever do that i love my country let pairs of student talk to each other about leaving the country one student repeats ajit statement page 82 the other gives a reason for not agreeing with ajit this sentence openings given below should be used if i leave this country i will miss there are some things which you can get only here for example there are some special days i'll miss particularly most of all i'll miss because i think it's impossible for me to leave my country because how can you leave your country except when depends on one's intention i can't leave for good because maybe for a couple of years writing first based on the following points write a story your aunt has gone to her mother's house your uncle does his cooking he is absent minded he puts vegetables on the stove he begins to clean his bicycle outside the neighbor calls out saying something is burning your uncle rushes to the kitchen to save vegetables he puts some oil on them unfortunately it's machine oil not cooking oil what do you think happens to the vegetable begin like this last month my aunt decided to visit her parents honeycomb you were just listening to this audiobook production assistance meenakshi kukreti and jagbandhu jana recorded by batilang lingdo technical assistance somya malik produced by ajit horo and presented by cit nceert new delhi india